So most of the day I try to unbox the SSD NVMe to 56 gigabyte 2230 size that I will use for installing the games beside I already have unoccupied the enclosure as well so I decided to buy the same exact thing but from a different seller which is half price difference is around five dollars so it is actually cheaper even though I'm not sure why but the SSD seems to be unformatted so there's still some kind of breaking system inside it but I'm not sure whether I I'm able to boot from the SSD directly or not since I'm still not figure out about how can I change the bootable drive of my dream gadget so yeah I decided to just directly change and obviously use it for storing the data if no since there's still an operating system that I decided so there's some for around 40 gigabytes already been taken but it's okay since basically if you talk about the bigger games the triple A games the PlayStation 4 games it is a very big game so the watchdog legion that I finally succeed to be installed since basically it can be directly played before but I just forgot that one of the files is actually really important but always detected as a threat through the Windows Security Defender so all you have to do is just to exclude it, those single file and then yeah, you can finally launch the game immediately it seems to be quite fast as well maybe because the speed is also much faster than a regular SATA drive that I found on my old gaming PC since it's still PCIe based for some reason but I'm not sure whether there is a speed differences between the 2280 and the 2230 so basically this enclosure can support any kind of NVMe size so it's pretty cool even though it is pretty expensive for the enclosure since usually I can only bought five dollar for the enclosure SATA and this one is can cost me four times more expensive so it's around twenty dollars yeah with this similar speed for some reason because yeah even though the port was actually USB-C but since this is actually the cheapest NVMe enclosure that you can get so they kinda use the cheap cheap the cheap chipset since so RTL 91 I guess I'm not sure so I even totally forgot about the converter dongle since the Mac Air that I currently use did have USB-C. Of course, it's, it is still the non-retina display. <laughs> even though the USB-C that I am using is actually from a newer Mac. That's the reason why, because I didn't have any better USB-C cables, it's because obviously if you talk about the USB-C that was included on the MacBook, it should be support the Thunderbolt, but since the device is not support Thunderbolt, so the speed is most likely the same like USB 3.0. So as you can see, it's finally connected into the PC, even though since there's already an operating system and it is obviously formatted as an NTFS, so it cannot be written from the MacBook Air since yeah, by default the MacBook 
operating the Mac operating system can only write to F80 or F80 32 format. So the NTFS needs to be have a third party application in order to, to be able to write to support that kind of things but for some reason I actually have those NTF as application writer but for some reason the NTFS drive that you want to read is has to be exact specific name only and when I try even if I try to rename those drive as no specific name it cannot be read from the finder so I have to use terminal in order to move the data <laughs> so it's pretty annoying for some reason but yeah I'm still actually doing it anyway since basically if you basically unless you are using an extended version of a finder in the Mac so you cannot actually move anything even to the FAT or FAT32 format so you still technically need a terminal in order to move the files so this is actually pretty long unboxing since I have I tried to do several things just to make sure that the SSD that I received is working properly <laughs> Even though you cannot see it, a thing in the in the display of the MacBook, since it will most likely get cropped during the upload, I guess. Since the res the aspect ratio is actually four by three for the my mirrorless camera, so. Yeah.